Hello and welcome my beautiful Capricorns. Brenda here from Brenda Tarot Readings with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 20th to the 26th of year 23. Starting off in your first row which could be the beginning of the week or past tense energy uh, things that could have happened coming in behind you. You've got the card taking risks and the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups can be indicative of any romantic proposal or offers and maybe invitations. Um, you're going to be taking action now and following your heart. This particular Knight often comes riding in and you feel as though you've been rescued. They have this ability to charm you and sweep you off your feet. Uh, this could be somebody that you, you meet randomly or, or someone who unexpectedly that you know lets their feelings be known to you. Um, this will be a, a person who's your ideal man or woman. Um, they're going to be amicable, intelligent. They're going to be full of new ideas and proposals. I love this Knight of Cups. It's not the page. The page is someone who's definitely younger, looks younger, and brings that youthful aspect into the equation. But this person almost comes in at that perfect moment where you feel that they offer you time, effort, support, and even affection and love. You're going to be taking a risk here. Perhaps you're stepping out of the norm here uh, with perhaps the situation or this individual. It's time to step beyond your normal of everyday life and take some risks. Face your fears. Do things in a new and even maybe unorthodox way. Listen more to your inner voice than to the voices of other people's opinions and what they have to say about this situation. So don't allow other people's opinions to dictate or determine your direction you're going to go, especially if it has to do with a personal relationship. You know, rather than running from your potential failure, embrace it. History has shown that those willing to face failure will often succeed in massive ways later. If it has to do with your job and your career, if it has to do with a situation that you're going to step out to do, don't be afraid to go after that. You could be traveling the distance. Uh, you could be amping and leveling up your business to an international level. You could be stepping out on your own. Um, you could be planning a trip to some uh, some place with this individual, this Knight of Cups, and it may seem un out of the norm and unorthodox for you to do that to make a snap decision and say okay I'll go with you all right so there's a lot of different uh, representations with this card you could also be falling in love with someone or something that makes you feel that feeling now nine of cups comes in with the map shifter so the nine of cups as we know is a beautiful card that says get ready to find abundance and happiness in your life uh, it's definitely the card of success and wishes coming true and realizing that your dreams and your endeavors and your goals you've been working on are going to bring you happiness and joy and fulfillment. It's a card that's, that says you may, you may need to continue uh, looking at things in a positive way and stay optimistic. It's going to bring you success and abundance and prosperity in the future. But, you know, this is a card of achievements and rewards and having confidence and holding your head up high with self-esteem. It's a card of good luck and fulfillment. We all know that the Nine of Cups means that. So the shapeshifter comes in with that. And that says, you know, you could be coming in on, with a mission to make you aware of people who come into your life. And it could be this particular water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or not. But this particular night, male or female. Um, and you may meet a soulmate. Uh, in the process here with the with this magical shapeshifter they're going to come in and change things okay it invites you to be the best you that you can possibly be or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety and success so pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey be awake and aware that you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are that you know they're changing things up your whole perspective about who you are and why you're still here will shift so pay attention um, to the new people coming into your life that are going to bring you this wonderful place of happiness and joy now, crossing over your reading here, you have the energy of the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is that card of conflict. You could be getting involved in some fighting or arguments and disagreements and fighting with or struggling with op opposing battles. Um, this is about not losing your temper and trying not to clash personalities. Let go of ego here. Uh, and and realize that uh, it's time for you to pick your battles wisely. You don't want to get into any kind of a conflict because this is what the Five of Wands talks about. Now, when I talk about the number five in any of these cards, you've heard me say this before, fives are cards of challenge. But we often have, have a, the ability with free will to walk our path, to find the resources, to resolve those, those issues of 
of challenge. So pick your battles wisely. That will be your your resource coming in here to sh shift this. It can also be the card of competition. Uh, you may be feeling as though you're pushed back against the wall to promote yourself, competing with someone else or perhaps at your place of work to promote yourself to, to the powers that be to make them realize that you are worthy of rewards. Coming in with that, you've got the Two of Swords, which we know is that card of indecisiveness, and the Forest, which is muddled and unclear thinking. So it's an absolutely perfect card here to come in at this time, uh, the Forest with the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is being at a stalemate or calling a truce and, you know, sitting on the fence and, me and, and, and having difficult decisions and maybe they're painful choices you don't want to make right dealing with opposing energy but you need to face your fears and don't allow yourself to be torn between two relationships or have divided loyalty it's about you letting putting down you know putting down your swords being able to see something in clear and clear and, and clear uh with clear thinking here because you've got the muddled so this is basically not being able to see the forest for the trees maybe there's something right there where you have to make a decision but you might need to call in someone of great wisdom because this king of cups is coming in next and you could be asking someone to step up and mediate for you uh, if you're dealing with a legal issue uh, it could be a lawyer that you're hiring um, or somebody who can come in and be able to lay the cards in a fair and equitable biased manner so that you can see uh, it clearly what you have to gain and lose here so that you can make perhaps a compromise here a decision and a choice that will finally allow you closure here to go after what you want and move forward in a positive direction coming in next you have as i said this king of cups and the key so the king of cups as we know is someone who comes forward with almost like a gift someone who you can trust uh someone who has knowledge and caring and healing and good advice someone who understands uh consciously and unconsciously how to help okay and how to get you motivated um this is a male figure possibly a cancer uh, Pisces or Scorpio that has the ability to touch his life and his emotional life and and you're going to be maybe taking on the energy of this king in charge of your emotions now not allowing your your heart to lead your head and being able to look at things uh, from an all over perspective from a higher perspective from a different perspective this particular king of cups could be a good friend of yours someone who's mature and emotionally stable they step forward to give you heartfelt advice and maybe they're stepping in as a mediator to lay the cards on the table they've learned and lived through their experiences and they can share them to help you you've got the key here uh, the beautiful key here and the cage and the key here uh, is and the cage is all about change okay being able to move forward here and realizing that you have the ability now to go after what you want uh, this is about realizing that there are gifts coming into you at this time all right uh, stepping up you hold the key now to go after what you want and don't be afraid to do that right uh there could be the opening the doors of opportunity and the key here is to listen to this wise counsel that could be coming in here to help you with the situation but you've got the key and the willpower and the free will to go after what you want because keep your eye on the prize here the door is open to set you free now you don't have to feel as though you're caged in anymore coming in next with your final row which could be future energy or the energy coming into you or the end of the week so here's your change card right uh, as well with the world and the world is success and achievement accomplishments um, you could also be planning a trip you could be maybe wanting to go on a business trip or a uh, a pleasure trip or combining the two um, you're going to have a sense of belonging and, and wholeness and this is taking things to the next level moving forward uh, definitely in a great direction here so this is a card of success and know that it only comes in here because of the change the changes that you're making right now you're packing up and you're moving from one place to another or you're going you're packing up and going on an emotional uh, and spiritual journey as well but some of you could actually pa be packing up and moving uh, maybe you're moving your old house to a better place uh, you know and you don't plan on going back uh, this is all about change and you know changing a location or maybe other social situations such as your career or relationships with other of your own you know that or relationships with other of your own outlook may change or your outlook about other people or situations around you could be changing so you're definitely moving uh, in a new direction or whether you're traveling for uh, a vacation or pleasure or business uh, or relocating your home um, you're definitely not going back 
you could be going on a road trip here too as well so that looks interesting well my beautiful Capricorns this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to and always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon my beautiful Capricorns